How do you attract named talent? Here's another case study. Um, this is uh, film Premium. I don't know, anybody see this on cable, Premium? So this was on Showtime recently, came out. Um, this is my friend Pete Chapman, director right there in the brown, in the middle there. Uh, this was Pete's first feature film. So Pete's first feature film has an all-star cast. All-star cast right there is Zoe Saldana. She was just recently in, uh, what is it, Pirates of the Caribbean. She's just one of the stars of Drumline. You've seen her in a bunch of other stuff that I don't know off the top of my head, but Zoe Saldana, very exotic, um, up-and-coming actress. Also next to him, Dorian Missick, who's been on a bunch of national TV shows. Um, next to him is Hill Harper, Lackawanna Blues, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and then also on the poster, I don't know if you can, guys can see the picture as well, Frankie Faison. Um, we got Bill, uh, was it William Sadler? Tanya Pinkins. I mean, these people are all name actors. They're not necessarily A, but they're definitely B level actors, and they've been out there for a long time. Some of them are one. Tanya Pinkins won a Tony. All of these people are in his first feature film. So, how the hell did he do that? Let's look at it. Real simple. Started out by making a name for himself. A lot of people don't always know how to do this. Start small, start local. When I say start local, what Pete did was starting with the local newspaper. I'm talking that little rag that's sitting by the grocery store when you walk out. It's on the ratty little newspaper, that. That one in his local Jersey town, he started off by just hustling there for one story, um, getting them to cover a little short film he was presenting, doing little volunteer things around the community. Um, if you do things uh, such as like he does, his company does a coat drive. His company, mind you, is him. It's him and like one other person, basically. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not like a huge entity. Um, not unlike Down and Dirty DV, in all honesty. Um, so it's not this huge entity, but uh, he started making a name for himself. Started getting uh, his name in that paper, which led to another story, which led to a magazine story, which led to another magazine story. All of a sudden, you've got credibility. One thing leads to another, but you've got to start somewhere. So go out there and get your name out there however you can. Uh, start making short films. Get your short films out there. Study the game. See how it works. How have other people gotten actors in their film? Don't just go blindly out there sending some random letter off to some celebrity. Study the game. Work backwards. Look at what celebrities have been in films that are comparable to yours. How did that celebrity actually end up in that person's first feature? Um, put together a tight package will help. If you write a hell of a script, dot treatment, obviously that's good. If you target your project to the cause, also much more likely to score some name talent. Um, pay them their regular rate. If you got the money, that's a no-brainer. Um, more difficult to do, though. Um, get some mo, momentum, big mo, right time, right place. I just happened to run into Woody Harrelson. I didn't have a script written for him, but never know. Could have happened. Um, just ask. You never know. Um, and then, most importantly, don't F it up. You got to be professional when you deal with these people because, uh, I mean, there's, I don't know, there's, it's not blacklisting necessarily in the old tradition, but you don't want to get a bad rep uh, with these guys when you're starting out. So when you go ready to do it, be ready to fully execute and be fully professional.